Growing women's lacrosse among HBCUs has been a real big focus here in the lacrosse capital of the world, Maryland. WMAR 2 News, Xavier Wary shares what one league is doing as they prepare for the 2028 Olympics. Shot, score! Angelina Pinto! I definitely think HBCUs, especially in the lacrosse world, don't get the recognition that they deserve. Angelina Pinto is a senior on Morgan State University's club lacrosse team who's part of the next collegiate league, a testing and training ground for the next generation of lacrosse players, a sport with 15 teams at various HBCUs. After noticing the men who were already playing in the NCL, she worked to create a women's lacrosse team back in November 2021. At first, it was a little bit rocky. Um, we probably had about four or five people come outside and just pass the ball around. We didn't really have people that were dedicated enough, and we also didn't have people that know how to play, so we were kind of te teaching them as well as trying to get things in motion for us to play games. Year after year, she saw the interest among women continue to grow. Gomez is wide open. open. Gomez has it. Scores! Morgan State wins it! Three years later, Pinto and her team are fresh off of celebrating the women's inaugural championship, beating Hampton 11 to 10 in an overtime thriller. It was just such a surreal experience. I still can't get over the fact that we won the championship. The Maryland Sports Commission has put base funding into the NCL through the Youth and Amateur Sports Grant Program and Michael Aaron Bush Fund. It's added six women's teams to the league. Normally, women's rules wouldn't have them playing with the same equipment as men, but the NCL wanted to promote equity. A lot of us actually enjoy playing with the men's equipment more now. We can be more physical, we can have more fun and just be more creative. The women's game is very technical. For those of you that were wondering if these ladies were going to be afraid of contact, I'd say no. The women also play sixes lacrosse just like the men, which will be added to the 2028 Olympics. We will have players from the next collegiate league um, representing their countries in 2028. And the really cool thing about it is the next collegiate league will become the training ground for players who want to compete in the Olympics in 2028. In order for that to happen, NCO Commissioner Liam Banks and Pinto say the league must continue to pour into HBCUs, utilizing resources like up-to-date fields, proper equipment, and quality officials. They need the resources and the outlet. I feel like in most Inner cities, all you see is basketball courts and open fields and tracks. They don't really have the resources like lacrosse sticks or people who know the game of lacrosse who look like them, who can help mentor them. If we have more mentors who look like us to help teach the youth how to play the sport, we could really grow as a whole. In Baltimore, Xavier Wary, WMAR 2 News.